first day back down on the beach since the giant surf let up and uh, we're getting a pretty good low tide today so I'm gonna get out there and see what we can find um, using the fisher today just because I'm wanting to be in the water a little bit more today hopefully and uh, see if we can find something worthwhile so let me get busy here and see if I can find something all right first target Kind of bouncing high tone, mid tone. It's in here. in and I'm still heading down to the water. High town. It's a memorial sun. I'll take it. Alright, let's back that. Let's check the hole. That was it. Alright, let me fill this in and keep, keep going. So I was heading towards the car. And I noticed down the beach here, there's a... There's like a notch out of the beach, so... I'm going to head over there and see what's going on. It's like a big chunk missing, so that might be the, the spot to jump into a swale that's not quite so deep. Let me get over there and take a look. All right, so here's the, the main part of the surf here. And as you go north, you'll see that there's a giant pool behind me where it washed it out. That's where I want to get down in that deeper water there and see if we can find some jewelry and stuff. So, I don't know. I'm hoping I can film some stuff. But if my if it's too deep and the camera's underwater, I don't know what we'll get. We'll see what happens. May not find anything. Let's give it a shot. I just had a target here. There it is. I don't know, I'm getting like a high tone, occasional mid tone. It's right there. What's it gonna be? And did we get it? No, we didn't get it. It's still down there. Let's 
scoop. I don't hear it, so it's in the scoop. What's it in the base? Oh, it's a key on a key ring. All right. Does a key ring count as a ring? I don't know. Probably not. Anyways, yeah, that's it. Let me bag it. It's been out here a while and it's heavy, so we're in a good spot. We just got to get in the right spot. Let me keep looking for it. Very quiet out here. Right now it's low tide. And uh, that sandbar right there is the only thing keeping me from getting smashed by big waves. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm waist deep out here, but not finding anything. Anyways, I'm gonna keep looking. It should be a good spot. had a target here. False alarm evidently. So now we're chest deep. Oh, oh, my drink is getting ready to float out of my pocket. I'll be back. Alright, I got some crazy fish action going on around me. I'm hoping it's not sharks. Keep looking. the other side of the swell. I wasn't finding anything down in there to speak of it. Wondering if some of the stuff that blew out of that hole is up here on this hump. So just checking everything but so far not not much action at all. Let me keep looking. Alright. We could have intermission but We've got a target. It's down. It's right there. should be on the other side. Let's wait a second. There we go. I don't hear it. There it is. It's a dime. 
Well, at least it didn't blow out on us with the, with the wave. All right, let me keep going. All right, we got a... Got a high tone right there. Not been very many targets today. All right, it's gone now. Stuck in my scoop. No, nope, maybe we moved it. Nope. It's gotta be in here. Oh, I see something right there. I see something sparkling at me. Hearing. We'll take it. I'll bag it. Let me fill this in and keep looking. I don't think it's a good one, but you never can tell until you look at them close. Let me keep going. Getting a mid-tone right here. But I'm way high on the beach, so it could just be aluminum can slaw. But there hasn't been many targets down here today. it right there foil let me bag it and we'll check the pile again I'm still getting something here oh it's the rest of the foil that reminds me of Paul Harvey the rest of the story all right, there's the rest of the foil. I'm gonna try another beach. Um, the fish are too heavy for me to swing. My arm is still sore from all the hunts last week or a week before last, last week. Anyways, let me, let me wrap it up here and try to get to a, uh, another beach. Just found another piece of this stuff. I found some last last time out. I think it could be turtle shell, but I don't really know. Anyways, let me let me get to another beach. All right, a short short hunt, a short wrap up. I had intentions of going to another beach, and I I got my stuff loaded into the car, and my shoulder hurt so bad when I reached up for the steering wheel that I thought I better cool it. And uh, it's still a little sore. I don't think I tore my rotator cuff, but I think I almost tore my rotator cuff. And I've done that before a couple of times. I don't want to go there. Um, here we go. Uh, two pennies and a dime. A key ring with a key. One bling earring. And some aluminum. That can was a... That was deep. Um, I think I was in the water with that too. I don't know if I'll bother to show it or not. It's, I think it took me like four minutes to dig it out. Um, yeah, some aluminum. And the fisher, the only time it'll hit on a bottle cap is if there's a lot of rust and stuff, and that's that one got me. Uh, oh, and another piece of this stuff. I think it's turtle shell. That's from the other day. It's got like a waxy feel to it. That other one's a little thicker. This one's thinner. But yeah, I think that that's probably what that is. Anyways, I was going to go to another beach, and then I was going to head out again. And uh, I've had car trouble with one of my cars, and uh, 
just been busy. So I figure I'll throw today I'll throw together a quick video. But since the storms, it's just been slim pickings out there. Everything's all scattered far and wide and uh I don't know. I guess it's uh, a work in progress here with the beach sorting itself out. And today, I wanted to get out today, but my car went longer. I had to go pick up my car, and I got to go chase some parts for my boat motor, which for Martin, I'll show him. This is, there's the shaft we got out of that motor. I welded that nut on the end, and but it just was stuck. It wasn't corroded or anything. It looks fine. Anyway... Martin, I thank you. That's Martin from uh, Randolph Relic Recovery. He gave me an old outboard that I really needed for my freshwater boat. I've got a bunch of boats and none of them work, so I'm trying to get that sorted out. We need the red boat, and I just haven't had time to get back onto the fiberglass there. But anyways, that's it. That's a quick little wrap-up, and uh, I'll probably get out tomorrow. I was going to do another short hunt and add it to this one. But uh, I figure every day I let my arm rest, we're, we're better off. And uh, I did the Equinox update. I haven't hunted with it yet. I, I looked at the, uh, the dimming on the light, on the backlight. That's pretty nice. I think that's going to be good. And as far as the bottle caps, hopefully it won't find quite so many. Anyway, um, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe. And you won't miss the next one. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.